Preparations for 2027 presidential elections have begun in top notch. And William Ruto has got his eyes on the big prize. Every time he conducts his activities, political appointments, his speeches, he is looking at building a foundation that will make him win the 2022, 2027 elections. And he is not taking any chances. But one thing that is worrying William Samoy Ruto is what is happening on the other side of the political divide, the Azimio. And that is the only headache that is giving William Ruto sleepless nights. There are three things that have happened that will shape the political realignments that will eventually give us the presidential candidates for 2027. And I fear that we will not even have time to deliver the election promises that were given to Kenyans. Number one is the ongoing talks in Bomas. Those talks are going to form an official office of the Prime Minister. And that office is going to be entrenched in our constitution. And it means that when people are going to engage as they form their political realignments, we are going to have three big seats, president, deputy president, and a prime minister, officially in the constitution, because that is what has been proposed in Bomas, and they are working towards it. That is number one that is really going to influence the political formations as we gear towards 2027. Number two, there is a possibility that Mount Kenya will not work very closely with William Ruto. And these are not my words, but these are the words that have been confirmed by those who work closely with the Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa. There have been meetings in Karen, in Thika, and more meetings are being planned to forge forward and to see how Mount Kenya, Mount Kenya is going to approach 2027. Around the deputy president who has security of tenor, he was elected by the people and uh, his is a joint ticket with the president so we work around it supporting the two of them working together but when we come down let us remember we come from certain regions let us rally around uh, the deputy president uh, so that he can become the bridge between ourselves and the president so that uh, we we are able to move as a community we continue to pledge our loyalty to the president uh, he can count on our numbers uh, as we silently observe where we are going. With that in mind, William Ruto is also weighing options. And number three, there is a possibility that Raila Amolo Odinga, the Right Honorable, might not be on the ballot in 2027. And so ladies and gentlemen, those three aspects are really bothering William Ruto and is really giving him hard time how he's going to realign himself. One thing that is crystal clear is that in Kenya Kwanza they already have a presidential candidate who is William Ruto. They have made that very clear. The only thing that is becoming opaque is whether Ruto will go with Rigadi Shagwa or he will pick Mudavadi or pick Kithure Kindiki. But all signs and symptoms and the vector are pointing at Musala Mudavadi because he's really quoting Mudavadi and the Western Mulembe Nation. But in Azimio, things are very quiet. And this silence is really giving President Ruto a lot of headache. And with this, he has decided
to try and and and, and poke Azimio to see what they have in store. Now, yesterday, William Ruto was in Homer Bay. And there is something that he said that very many political pundits have interpreted differently. But to me, I have interpreted this to mean that William Ruto is knocking and is trying to provoke the Azimio to tell them exactly what they have in 2027. Huyu wanga anazinda akiniambia ati sisi ni watu ya baba. Sio ni sawa? Si hata mimi nilikuwa mtu ya baba? Ama? Kwani mtu ya baba ya sahi na mtu ya baba ya zamani si ni the same? Ama namna gani? Na mimi nauliza nyinyi? Mimi nauliza nyinyi? Ndio Raila aitwe Prime Minister leo. Nani alichangia hiyo kazi? Si ni mimi. Mimi ni waulize tena. Siku ile sisi wote tulikuwa tunasaidia kwambo. Si tulikuwa tunatafuta kiti ya rais. Sisi wote. Sasa mimi nauliza nyinyi kwa hii uchaguzi ilikuwa imepita. Watu wa kushindana kwa hiyo kiti walikuwa wangapi? Si ni mimi na kwambo. Tulipata hatukupata. Sasa shida iko wapi? Shida iko wapi? Situ situ li Si tulikuwa tunatafuta kiti ya rais na tumepata sasa tuungane tupeleke Kenya yetu mbele si ndio ile tu deni bado mimi niko naye na nitauliza agwambo unajua mimi nimepigia kura agwambo na agwambo hajawahi kunipigia kura sasa namngojea na 2027 kwa sababu sasa kama yeye is not running si mimi nitashindana na Kalonzo huyu Kalonzo kweli mkiniona mkiona na <laughs> if you are watching our channel for the first time take a second or two and subscribe to our channel then click the notification bell you can also like and share our videos ladies and gentlemen those statements really mean a lot to William Ruto because if there is something that William Ruto does not know how he's going to handle is the promise that he gave to Kenyans. And as he approach 2027, he will not be giving more promises because people will be asking, you promised to lower the cost of living. You blamed Uhuru and Raila. And when we gave you an opportunity, what have you done with it? And so he is trying to calculate one, two, three things. What is going to tell people in 2027? Because in 2027, William Ruto might lose the presidential election. And I'm not talking of the person who will be declared. He might lose, but the IEBC might declare him. If you know, you know. And if you understand what I'm saying, you will understand. And so what William Ruto is doing, he knows very well that losing or winning depends fully on the political realignments that are going to be formed and he wants to know who will face him with the three aspects that i've given you i have painted for you a picture in the case raila is not on the ballot paper rigedi gashagwa has withdrawn his support for william ruto and bomas has come out with a strong position and people go for a referendum maybe and we have the op the position of a prime minister what does that mean if raila will decide to support kalonzo musioka then kalonzo will look for someone from either central coast nyanza or western to deputize him and then there will be another bigger slot for the position of a prime minister. And you all understand that Kalonzo has got a solid block of over 2 million votes. That vote is not wavering. And William Ruto knows very well that he can either count on this vote to defeat him or to join with this vote to help him plunge into 
white house, uh, into to state house for the second time the game plan since 2022 has, has been that Kalonzo was to run alone, thereby denying Azimio or Raila the 2.5 million votes. Because I have always said that if you take Kalonzo from Raila, you will really have denatured the Azimio. And that is why they have been trying to take away Jubilee and all that. Kanu is gone. They bought very many, uh, very many legislators and that is the game pa the game plan still today because if they know the formation of azimio it will help them to counter that realignment for example if raila says today that he will be contesting for the f sixth time that is exactly what william ruto wants because if raila goes and especially William Ruto would pray that as he goes for a sixth time, Kalonzo refuses to support him. And then they will pray that Kalonzo decides to go alone. If Kalonzo goes alone, of course he will not win. But he shall have really given a real, a Raila a headache, denied him a chance. Because once you remove two million votes that Raila had, it will be so difficult. So they can decide to sponsor Kalonzo to go and contest alone. Or they can call Kalonzo Musioka, then they have a strong formation where Kalonzo becomes the Prime Minister, Mudavadi becomes the, 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 the Deputy President. And so even if Central will go, Central might just decide to be divided. There are those who still support William Ruto. Because even if you kick Rigadi Gashagwa out, you can still pick Kithuro Kindiki, you can decide to pick Kimani Shungwa, or Nindi Nyoro, or any other person. And they some of them can still decide to vote for William Ruto. But there's been this talk that Raila has been a scarecrow to the central people. The moment you remove Raila from the contest, then you confuse everyone. Because there is nothing you will tell Mount Kenya. There are those people who did not like William Ruto, but they voted because they were voting against Uhuru Kenyatta. And Raila Molodinga. Now, when you remove Raila from the picture, there is nothing you will tell them. There are, there are people from Mount Kenya, and especially the Meru and the Embu community, the Meru and the Embu community, who will vote for Kalonzo. Those people are, are neighbors. Some of them even speak the same language. Sometimes it's difficult to differentiate between a Kamba and a Meru because they speak the same language. So they will have a soft spot for him. They don't like William Ruto, and Raila is not in the picture. They will simply vote for Kalonzo Musioka. When Kalonzo gets votes from Central and he's got Raila's backing, I can assure you it is going to be a headache for William Ruto. The other thing that is really bothering this government is that when they said Uhuru was the epicenter of all our predicaments, they were given a chance and Uhuru has been vindicated. They are saying it was better during Uhuru compared to William Ruto because Ruto has decided to dance with the West and so the subsidies have been removed, taxes have increased and, and, and things are not any better. They, might, they will not go back to Mount Kenya and still embark on campaigning against Uhuru Kenyatta because it will be a total fallacy and people have seen it. With this in mind, Uhuru might just come back at, at, as a formidable force. Teaming up with Kalonzo Musioka and Raila, either Raila is on the box or is not on the box ballot on the ballot, but he's backing Kalonzo Musioka. With Mombasa and Joho still in, and Western, even as we speak today, Raila and Azimio still has got a lion's share compared to William Ruto. And so with these ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto is restless and is really trying hard to provoke Azimio to show them their formation. The silence from Azimio is really deafening and it is really giving Ruto a hard, uh, you know, hard time. But it is inevitable that there are going to be political formations. I don't know where Mount Kenya will be, but one thing I must say, you cannot wish away Mount Kenya because of their numbers. And this time around, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be just too interesting. What do you think?